we always get a lot of questions on a very, very simple concept, how to shoot the perfect jump shot. So we're gonna bring you through how to shoot a perfect jumper today, give you some fundamentals that you can work on and make sure that your form is perfect every time you shoot. There are hundreds of different shots in this game. You've got pull-ups, you've got fadeaways, you've got three-pointers. But no matter how many different shots you have in your game, you're always only gonna have that one form. So it's essential that you, that perfect form is the same every single time. You wanna make sure that there isn't anything different between your three, your pull up, your fade away, what have you, it needs to stay the same all the way through. So my shot, I'm always gonna start with my hips dropped. I'm in my hips are dropped and I'm in a comfortable stance. I'm not gonna be low sitting all the way down. I'm not gonna be standing straight up. My knees are bent just slightly where I'm feeling athletic where I can get the most lift into my shot. So my hips are dropped and I'm on balance. That ball is going straight to my shooter's pocket every single time. So it's between my hip and my shoulder. You watch great shooters and they're shooting from here. So if you can get in the habit of when you catch that ball, going straight to your shoulder, you're gonna be that much more quick when you get into your shot. And the quicker you are with your shot, the much more effective it's gonna be and the harder it's gonna to be to block. So my hips are dropped, I've got 10 toes to the rim, I've got that ball in my shooter's pocket. Now when I release, I'm gonna release high so my elbows above my eyes and my fingers are pointed towards the floor. If I can see my fingertips, my follow through is probably not high enough. I need to have it straight up in the air, beside my head, not across my face. So I'm hips dropped, 10 toes to the rim, ball in the shooter's pocket when I release, high release, elbow above my eyes, four fingers to the floor. Don't be afraid to take the rim out of the equation when you're working on your shot. There's nothing wrong with getting in the gym and just shooting it to yourself to make sure that your form is perfect every single time. If you get in a mirror, in front of a mirror, you're gonna be able to critique yourself. If you get in a gym and you don't even shoot at the rim and you just shoot it in the air and you have somebody film, you're gonna be able to see just how perfect or imperfect your shot may be. And if you can critique yourself, you're gonna be on the way to becoming a great shooter. It's very, very simple. You have to find your own form. But if you follow these fundamental, princi fundamental principles, you're gonna be on the way to becoming a great shooter.